Good evening, everybody. Yes, it's Farage, but with me, Patrick Christie's. I am covering for the main man all week. Let's get stuck in, shall we? So, the runners and riders are in, in terms of the Tory leadership race. Now, I'm convinced that the Conservatives have committed a great national act of political suicide. I get that Boris was embroiled in sleaze. I get that his personal life was a bit of a mess. I get that there are scandals upon scandals. But in a weird way, there's something very honest about that, isn't there? Because that's Boris, isn't it? That's who he is. That's the man that millions of people voted for. And despite securing a huge public mandate, it wasn't the public who booted him out, was it? No, it was politicians. But that's done now. And we have to move on. That's over. And what's a key issue going forward? OK, let's look at the future and not the past. Well, unfortunately, it's the same issue as always. The same issue that nobody has managed to get right. Immigration. Tony Blair had education, education, education. The next Tory leader has immigration, immigration, immigration. You can slap the word illegal in front of that as well. Now, according to reports, all the candidates have come out in favour of the Rwanda deal, with the possible exception of Jeremy Hunt. Important you get that name right. Well, to that, I would simply say, what Rwanda deal? We've basically just given Rwanda a load of foreign aid, haven't we? This is not an immigration deal. This is a foreign aid deal. There's been absolutely no result whatsoever. The cost of living crisis is massive. There's no doubt about that. And that'll be a big issue for people on the doorstep. But eventually, due to natural market and economic forces, that will sort itself out. What will not sort itself out is mass illegal immigration. Now, tomorrow, I'll be heading to a hotel to reveal yet another devastating case of the sheer toll that illegal immigration is having on this country. You do not want to miss what I'll reveal tomorrow, let me tell you that much. But it's one thing all the Tory candidates saying they support the idea of sending people to Rwanda. It's another thing actually doing it, isn't it? The British public, you, deserve results, not empty promises. Well, I'll tell you what we don't deserve the desecration of our public services, a national housing crisis, a government who prioritises people who come here illegally over homeless military veterans. Mark my words, if the next leader doesn't get hold of immigration, doesn't actually enact the Rwanda deal or something a bit like it, they'll be dead before they even start.